Hello, Grandview. Uh, Pastor Bob here. Hey, I have some really exciting news uh, about some new happenings in the life of our church. Um, the elders and I have been in discussions now for a uh, little over a couple of months about um, how we sense there's a need to, to realign our paid staffing structure in the church. Um, and so uh, what I mean by that is uh, where are we going to allocate our monies for paid staff roles? And one area that we felt like we just need to do uh, a much better job of investing in paid staff uh, is in the area of our kids and our youth. And so uh, we've decided to restructure our, our staffing uh, in the life of the church, restructure where we're going to uh, spend our money and allocate money, and uh, in hiring a brand new role. We're calling it the, the Next Generation Pastor, or Next Gen Pastor for short. And that role is going to be a, uh, a person who is going to be a, a full-time pastor on staff, uh, who's going to be able to dedicate themselves completely in their career and their job to our kids and our youth ministries in the life of the church. And uh, we could not be more excited about this, this new direction that we're going to be taking in our paid staffing roles. And so... Um, uh, this particular person is, uh, we've already found the person, uh, we've already hired the person, and we're going to announce really soon who that person is and when they're going to be starting, uh, but we are, uh, we couldn't be more um, uh, thrilled about what's going to happen in the life of our church through the ministry partnership between myself and our other staff and you as the congregation with this new staff person. Um, uh, this role again is going to be called the Next Gen Pastor and they're going to be directly responsible for our kids ministries and our youth ministries and so they're going to be overseeing those, uh, they're going to be building those up, uh, going to be engaging with our kids and our youth and inviting uh, other adults and teens and whoever into those ministries to, as volunteers to, to build up those ministries. Um, and just the fact that this is going to be a full-time role is going to free that person up to concentrate uh, so many hours every workday to building those ministries. And boy, we couldn't be more excited. Um, so that's the really exciting news. Some of the uh, kind of somewhat sad news, I guess is what we might call it, it's not all bad, but it's kind of sad, and there's some good news with this too, is that uh, we have to make uh, some changes in our current staff to make this role possible. And so <clears throat> there's two staffing changes that we're going to be making in order to make room in our budget and uh, and, and what we can where we can spend money for this next gen pastor role. And uh, the two positions that we're going to be uh, ending as paid staff roles is uh, the youth director role that Chris Trickett is currently in, and then the admin role as a paid role that Cindy Underwood is currently in. Um, I've had a chance to, to talk with both of them about this change and to process through that together um, and I, um, I couldn't be more proud and um, humbled by the way that Chris uh, and Lisa and uh, Cindy and Jamin have uh, embraced this new direction. Uh, both have embraced, Cindy and Chris have embraced uh, this as a good thing as a necessary thing, as a right thing, uh, even though it's affected their roles as being in paid staff. And I just want to uh, to let you know uh, and encourage you in the fact that they are uh, very supportive and very much behind this, and they'll have a chance to voice that themselves to you, and we're excited for that opportunity. Uh, but um, they also are both staying connected to the church and going to continue to to volunteer and to be supportive and, and to help us move forward as a congregation. And so uh, we appreciate them both. And so um, uh, we want to honor both Chris and Cindy for their time in those paid roles. And so this is kind of a little bit of a hush-hush secret. They're not getting this video. Um, but um, Cindy is currently, uh, and Jamin are on the East Coast. They're working on a 
uh, a rental property they have there. And so um, they were in Oregon at a wedding and then they came home and had to go directly out to the East Coast. And so uh, they're going to be gone in total over a month um, and won't be back until probably early August, the first week of August maybe. And so we don't know if it's going to be August 2nd or August 9th or August 16th when we honor Cindy, but we are going to honor her in our service, kind of playing it by ear for when they get back. However, for Chris Trickett, um, we're going to be honoring him and Lisa uh, this Sunday, July 26th. We're going to be honoring them in the service at the, the early part, the front end of the service. And so uh, we want to ask you, if number one, if you would be willing to come uh, uh, and participate. Now, I know some of you are staying home until there's kind of an all clear with the virus, and we respect that. So we encourage you to engage online. But for some of you who uh, maybe this mask mandate hasn't been your thing or whatever, we ask that you might consider putting that aside for at least this Sunday um, and coming and just honoring Chris and Lisa as we honor them. And one of the ways we would like to ask that you could honor them is to um, to bring them a card. Maybe you want to put a gift card in there, maybe some cash, whatever, as just a way of saying thank you, Chris, for your six years of faithful service. You know, in the church we say we honor character, uh, but we don't often honor it in very good ways. Chris uh, has been a, a man of character. He's been faithful to his wife. He's, he's been a great dad to his daughter, and, and he's served uh, faithfully in this role for the last six years, and we want to honor him well. Now, I want you to let you know that uh, the elders are working hard at how we can honor both Cindy and Chris um, and to, uh, to shower them in a special way uh, as they transition out of these roles, and so we're, we're going to make sure that happens on our part. Um, but we want to encourage you that both of these are responding so well, staying engaged in the life of the church, um, and have served well. So we want to honor them. So Chris, this Sunday, July 26th, we're going to honor him. Um, we pray that you would consider how can you be part of that in celebrating his role for the last six years here. Hey church, um, we're excited to gather together for worship uh, Sunday, whether in person or online. And, uh, and we're excited to honor Chris and soon to honor Cindy and not too far here in the distant future, probably uh, less than a month away, we're going to have a new person as a next-gen pastor starting. So we're excited for all that God's doing. We ask that you pray about how you might be a part of all this going forward and uh, pray you have a great week and uh, we hope to see you Sunday in person or online.